Hey everyone, welcome to the Electric Supercar Channel. So last week we got uh, the trunk kind of figured out. Um, this week I'm going to dive in a little bit more. I got to get the uh, gas struts in, um, finish some things up, mount the wing. So let's get to it. Okay, so I'm trying to kind of fine tune the uh, hinge and the fit and um, I got a few things I'm trying to work through. So one is, um, I'll show you when I close it here. So um, what it is, is that uh, basically it wants to almost come back this way. So when I close it, it's just like, it's like off. I don't know how else to describe it. I mean, I can latch it, but I think what's going on is um, when I open it, I'm going to show you this front part here. So there's not a lot of room here. And I think when I open it, it kind of tends to bind right here. And if anything, when it's kind of opening, it kind of wants to push things back. It's so when I close it, it ends up being, you know, not in line here. So again, it kind of binds up the front. So I think I need to just create a little more clearance there and see if I can fine tune the fit. All right, I've got Jack, my helper. He's gonna lift it up. But this is what we're looking at up front here. It tends, I think it hits here and I think this whole front section it even kind of pushes it a little bit. So go ahead and lift it up slowly. More. Okay, back down a little bit, and then up again. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if you can really tell, but this this whole middle section tends to kind of want to push forward with that hinge. So we're just kind of contacting the surface up here, and it wants to move the whole thing. Okay, so I think I'm coming to a realization that um, I'll call it my pivot point is probably just not in the right location. Um, I think what I need to do is I need to move it. Well, I'll have to kind of make sure, but I think I need to move it that way a little bit. So it might be just that I have to be on the other side of this bar. Um, but what it is is when this guy moves up, um, the front really kind of just almost pivots in and it's got a lot of force in this whole section. You can see it's not real sturdy, but this whole section kind of wants to move with it. Um, and that's just not, that's not going to work. So I'm going to think on what I got to do next. Okay. So pretend that this is the trunk and it opens from the back and this is kind of the part of the shell. If I kind of zoom in on this area, we'll say that that's kind of like that. And then the trunk part is like this. So if I had the hinge kind of like right here, um, that's the pivot point. These things can only like move uh, kind of in a circle around that. So meaning this one, it can kind of go like that. This one can kind of go like that. So basically um, in a circle around that. And I think I was just, just had this pivot point too close where this was hitting here and this, this whole thing would kind of move over. So what I'm gonna try and do now, is I'm gonna try to put, put the pivot point back a little bit and so again then then hopefully that means that again moving in a circle will kind of be more up more up so uh we'll try that and hopefully it works okay i'm trying out a new hinge location so this was kind of the original and this is the new one so i've got it back just know, about two and a half inches um, I'm, I'm hoping i kind of looked at videos and did some measuring um, I'm hoping this will still clear because the uh, that little opening goes like this and so I'm hoping this is just enough that that can go up but it's about time to give it a try well actually first I've got to um, kind of make a bracket from so last time we had a plate here and this time I'm gonna need a plate that kind of goes out so I'll look at making that one that'll adapt to the other the other side. All right, I'm afraid this is going to be one of those weeks where uh, everything conspires against you. 
So I've already had the shell on and off like, uh, I don't know, um, two or three times. And then to top it all off, when I'm putting some screws on, I uh, dropped my wrench down. Probably took a good 30 minutes to try and get it out. So might be just one of those weeks. Most likely, I just played a really fast time lapse because I spent a ton of time trying to figure out hinge locations. Um, this is, I think, my third attempt, and I think I've got it. So the main problem was that very, very front part. Um, when it went up, it wanted to kind of dig in. So I finally got it in a position where it'll come up and over. The other trouble was trying to clear these uh, roll bar hoops. So I've got that. I'll show you. It's, it's just got a single hinge. And I think that'll be okay because I'm going to plan on doing these uh, gas springs on either side, which will really help lock it in. So again, just one there in the middle. You can go up really high. So now I'll work on the gas springs. So it took me a while, did some fabricating, but I got this guy in and uh, it's secure and this works well. However, I need it to come out just a little bit more because basically when this kind of comes up, I thought as long as I was kind of clear of this, I'd be good. But basically when it comes up to about here, it kind of starts rubbing. And so this is about as high as it would be able to go. Um, so it's not bad, but I think I'd want it just a little bit higher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remake that piece out of um, a bigger square stock. So that was kind of more smaller rectangle, but same holes, same placement, same everything, just space it out a little bit. And then for this top side, once I get that, I didn't want to do this until I did that, but this one I'm just going to put in like right here or something. And uh, again, I'll do a couple of those rib nuts and then a hole here for this other, the other side here. A lot of trial and error this week. All right, I've got to actually stop mid-progress. Uh, my lift is coming, so I need to go put wheels on the car and actually move it out of place. And uh, so anyways, gonna do that. So uh, it seemed to be having some, I'll call them glitches. This car's uh, sitting here idle, but it'll glitch, see that? So I'll try and go to uh, settings, but I don't see any air codes. I can hear some clicking, like something's going on. Oh, there's some air codes. Again, it seems like it's turning on the fan, doing all sorts of fun things. All right, so I just backed it off, put it over here. Um, one of the interesting things is it was making some clicking noises. Um, anyways, it made me think that uh, something wasn't quite right because I heard the fan kick on a couple times. Um, so I'm thinking there might be a little glitch or a can problem, or maybe I bumped the cord. Ugh, more problems. All right, look at what is back. Got the lift back. So, ah, uh, 
been missing it. I'll have to see if I still scrape getting off. This driveway's a lot flatter, so maybe we're okay. But yes, so happy to have this back. Um, if you guys remember, we had issues with kind of this motor pump um, kind of gave out. So I think the pump on my lift just gave out. So that has been replaced and we're back in business. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing, so my old garage, I'd always kind of just put the project up and away and have kind of full garage space for cars. Um, I'm looking, so again, we when I did the other garage, I planned, and so I had what I called uh, high lift garages. So rather than kind of being here, they'd go all the way up to the ceiling and then come out. So I'm looking at this and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stack cars. I mean, they're, they're small cars, but I don't know. We'll have to see. All right, so I did a lot of checking on the clicking, kind of the glitching that I saw. Um, not exactly sure what's going on. Uh, I'm gonna make a new CAN cable to kind of rule that out. Um, my biggest fear is that, again, it's a, a board that's been damaged. So um, I'll make the CAN cable, but actually, I'm gonna finish the trunk first. Well, try and finish the trunk first, and then I'll go to uh, making cables. Okay, so I've got both gas springs on. Um, it'll, it opens and closes, let me, let me show you. So herein lies the problem. Um, the one hinge is just not robust enough. Um, Again, this kind of works, but it's just a little floppy. So as much as I would love to kind of just uh, cut a clip and just have it all be fixed, um, I've kind of always just shown you the whole process, all the mistakes and everything. So I kind of had a thought that this might happen. I just don't know with the hinges I got if I can kind of get them close enough and have everything clear, but I'll give it one more try. Okay, so I was doing some quick measurements. I'll try one more time. So I think I can get side-by-side uh, -side hinges. When I say that, they'll be like almost touching, but I think having those two pivot points being a little bit apart will help it not kind of be quite so wiggly. So um, again, I took off the trunk lid. I'll take off my mounting bar and kind of put two holes, or put new holes in for those side-by-side. Again, I think I've got the height and everything right. Um, I'll need to make a new mounting bracket. So let's get to it. All right, um, I just redid a whole bunch of stuff. Um, got two hinges, so it's a little more stable. Um, I'll go ahead and show you now. So again, when it's completely down, the, the gas springs are kind of going out, so they want to push the trunk out. So it's not really helping, but once you kind of pop it up a little bit, it goes up all the way.
So I'm gonna open it and then just kind of show you around the car. So again, I feel like this gives you uh, really good access in here. Looks pretty good. And it, it clears here um, pretty, pretty decently, so that's good. Again, it clears the roll hoops. So this one happened to be a lot more challenging for me than I thought. There's just not a lot of space um, trying to tie into the frame as well as the shell, get everything aligned. So this one took me a lot longer than I thought, but I think I'm liking the end product. All right, um, I'm gonna save the uh, troubleshooting with the motor for next week. So uh, if you guys have some ideas, let me know. I think my mind's a little fried this week. Right, we got it to fit just barely. So I've got like about two fingers on top and under here I had to just unscrew the antenna. I maybe could have made it, but it's just like, look, things are getting pretty close. So I don't know that we'll do this every time. I'll, I'll see if there's some other way we can kind of make things fit a little better, but just thought I'd show you. All right, everybody, that does it for this week. See you next week.